On Wednesday, February 24, 2021, one of the members of our church's prayer group, in which the four adults in our household participate, posted a scripture reading and thought for everyone. It was regarding Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 20, which I've pasted below from the New King James Version. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, and against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, Take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, stand, therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Also, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints, and for me, that utterance may be given to me so that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains, that in it I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. As I read through that, I was reminded by the Lord that for the past several months, but especially for the three weeks just past, He had been showing me that He is calling on both the watchmen and the warriors of God to stand strong in this time in which we are living, and to laud the coming of the new things and the suddenlies of the Father that He is planning and already beginning to show for our nation and for the entire world. There are two scriptures he asked me to add to the passage from Ephesians. The first one is Joel 2, which begins, Blow the trumpet in Zion. It's quite long, so I'll leave it to you to read by going to the link in the description. God is definitely calling on us to armor up, be watchful, and be ready to protect our lands, nations, from spiritual enemies that may seem insurmountable, yet they are not, because God is in charge of this new army. He sends out the scouts, or the watchmen, ahead of the troops, in order that whole nations will be supernaturally protected and brought to victory. The second scripture is Romans 8, 31 through 39, also in the New King James Version. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall bring a charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is he who condemns? It is Christ who died, and furthermore is also risen, who is even at the right hand of God, who also makes intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, For your sake we are killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Also, we are called to stand strongly with God and His Word and to fight alongside the angel hosts who are already working for His purposes. This is how we shall overcome those who are fighting against us and against God Himself. Glory to God! Psalm 91, 11-12 says, for he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Hebrews 1.14, referring to angels, says, Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for those who will inherit salvation? In conclusion, going back to Ephesians 6, Having done all to stand, stand therefore, you watchmen and warriors. There are links for the following additional information in the description. 
One of the ones that's there is a trumpet solo by Phil Driscoll on YouTube. It's called Blow the Trumpet in Zion. You may have heard it a long time ago, and it still is going today. Uh, it was posted on YouTube on the 24th of February 2015, which is exactly six years before I posted my article. Um, there is also a link there for a downloadable and printable PDF of the song lyrics, which was not written by Phil. Blow the Trumpet in Zion Prophecy is linked there by Hank Kuhneman. It was posted there on February 28th, 2021, exactly four days after I posted my article. The Burning Ecclesia by Becca Greenwood, which was done at Oasis Church, posted on YouTube on March 19th, 2021, just a few weeks later. There was also a prophetic dream called White House Suspended in Time by Wanda Alger, which was posted on YouTube on July 8th, 2021. All of these are talking about the things that the people that are God's army in the earth, the people that are joined with the angels, all of us that are born again, that love God and his word are doing and being as the watchmen and the warriors in this our time that is very similar to a lot of other Bible times. I hope you get a chance to listen to them as well and thank you for watching.